Hello, I'm Kyle. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to open the cover of a Douyi 5 kW hybrid inverter. Let's see, this one is Douyi 5K SG103. I'm going to open the cover and take out the control card, the LCD card, and the capacitor board, and the uh, connection board. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, firstly, we need to turn, turn it over. The screw screws is on the other side on the on the heat sink. This is the whole, the the mounting the, the mounting bracket. We don't need to remove this one. We we need to remove these cables. Okay, this is the main screwdriver screws on on the heat sink. Also here. Okay. We can pick up all to the screw. Okay, finally, we already removed all the screws of the heat sink. Okay, let us turn it over again. Uh, here is the screwdriver, electric screwdriver we used. And also, you need uh, you uh, you will need to use this one. And uh, before you open the inverter cover, we needed to. Uh, turn off the inverter completely and uh, waiting for five minutes at least and then we can open the cover okay turn it over okay be careful now we need to remove just just four screwdrivers four, four screws here use this Okay, let's see. This is the, the demonstration of uh, this uh, this uh, screwdriver. The the size is uh, seven seven millimeters seven millimeters seven millimeters. This one. Okay. We can open the cover now. Okay, like this. We already can open this cover. Okay, here we can see this is the LCD board, and this one is the control card, control card, control board. Okay, let's remove this cables firstly. Remove this one. Just the push, and then take it out. This is the four pins. This is the two pins. Okay, and we already we also need to uh, take out this cable. This is the on off button um, cables. Okay, let's do it, remove it. We need to first, we can see here. Firstly, we need to press it here and then we can take it out easily. Like this one. Okay, we we can take out the cover now. Okay, we, we also need to remove this cable. This cable is the ground cable. Okay, let's remove this, this cable. This is the ground cable. And also, we need to remove this cable. This is the PV cable.
we need to use the screwdriver and press it here and then we can take it out oh okay we already removed all the PV connection cable PV negative PV, PV2 negative this is the second MPPT uh, uh, positive uh, positive okay we can take out this cover now show it here okay this is the cover this is the LCD board okay let's see here this is the control card. This is the LCD board. Oh, don't touch it. Just here. Let the camera see. Can you see? Can you see? This is the control card. Okay, we are going to remove this two cable. This cable is the communication cable. It is used to communicate with the LCD board. Okay, let's take it out. This cable is used to connect the connection board. Okay, let's... Here, we can see. There was terminal here, we need to press. You use, use some to press it and take it out. Then it will be easily. And then here is our four screws. We let, let, me, let us take it out. Normally, this should be has another two uh, screws here, but for convenient, I uh, already removed them. And then when you, you remove this screw, just four screws, then we can take it out. But but we can see here, this is used the pin. There was a um, multiple pins here. So we need to be careful when you take it out. Slowly, slowly, okay. And then, also like, Okay, then this is the control card. This is the control board. And uh, normally we should uh, you should uh, you should uh, uh, take a photo of this label because this label it tells uh, uh, this this control board is for which model. We can see here this is some five kilowatt. So this is for the uh, five kilowatt uh, hybrid inverter, and also it gives you the numbers here. We can track this uh, board according to this number. Okay, let's put it here. Now here we can see this is the uh, capacitor board. Capacitor board. Now this is, uh, we call it uh, connection board. This connection board is used to connect the generator board, generator, the load, and the grid. And this is the uh, generator relay board. Generator relay board. Okay, the first thing we we first let uh, us take out take out uh, the uh, capacitor, capacitor board. There was so uh, many screw screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do it. Okay, next uh, we'd better remove this fan. Firstly. Sometimes this is, um, <laughs> screwdriver is more helpful. Okay, this is the fan. Now let's remove this screws. Okay, then we can take out this this board. Oh, there was another screws here. So when we want to take out the PCB board, we need to be careful. We need to check all the screws are removed and then we can take out. Okay, also it has a label here. 
to pass the board okay let's leave it here now we are going to take out this board the generator board So electric uh, screwdriver don't have a, um, uh, the battery SOC is lower I think so I will use this one. Okay, then we need to remove these cables. Okay, this is the generator board. It also has a label here. Okay, let's put this here. When you remove the generator board, so it is very easy to remove. This is the uh, connection board. We just, we just push it here. Put it here, and then we can take out. This is the connection board. Okay, we are going to. This is the main board of the five kilowatt hybrid inverter. This is the main board. Okay, now we are going to remove this. Uh, we are we are going to take out this main board from the heat sink. Before we remove it, we need to uh, take out these screws. Now we need to use another demonstration uh, tool. This one is 10 uh, millimeters. Okay. Okay, we will remove this cable. This one is the, the current sensor. It is used to measure the battery current. And I want this one is the fuse for the battery side the fuse okay let's remove all the cables here this is the transform temperature sensor okay this is the fan Here is the inductor cable. Okay, let's remove it. You need to use a screwdriver. This is the battery side of the Cooper. This is the grid side of the relay. Okay. Okay, more close, more close. More close. We can see here many screws here. Here, 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 here. Before we remove this uh, main board, we need to take out all the screws on this board. Okay, let's do it. Also, we need to watch out. This is uh, this kind of screwdriver. The noise is different with this one. This one is used to fix the IGBT and the MOSFET.
Okay, I think we just so difficult to know. When you confirm we already remove all the screws, then we can take it out. Just one screw uh, left. Nice. We already remove all the screws and all the uh, cables of this board. Now we are going to take it out. Oh, we also need to remove this. Just four. Just four store. You need to use that to standard uh, control card okay now we can take it out we need to be careful okay oh we made it, we made it successfully. We take out all the, this is the main board of the 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. See, this is the label. When you take out this main board, you need to take a photo of this label, it's very important. And this is the isolation paper. It, it uh, used uh, to isolation the IGBT and uh, the heat sink. Also, when you uh, replace the IGBT board, you need to make sure the isolation isolation paper is good. If it is broken, and then it will damage the IGBT. Also, we need uh, there was some one isolation pa paper here. Okay. This is the transform and the inductor here. This is the heat sink of the 5 kW hybrid inverter. Okay, and this is the main board. Okay, we made it. Okay, this is all. Thank you for watching.